Hey there, I'm Patrick O'Connor. I'm the product manager for Harbinger. I'm here with my friends from Guitar Center today to tell you about our new studio monitors, the Very Studio 500 series. These are near field studio monitors. They're available in five inch and eight inch sizes, and they have innovative features to help you make better mixes as well as stream Bluetooth audio. When we first started to work on this project, we were thinking about people who make their own music productions, audio production, sound design, and they're also doing their own mixes. And we thought, what is it that could help them to be more successful in making those mixes and having them translate well out in the world than the studio monitors they already have? So one thing you'd notice if you went to a professional mix studio is they actually don't have one set of studio monitors. They usually have something like three. There's a large format set of monitors that have great, rich, low frequency response and a nice big sound reproduction system. There are some mid-size monitors. Maybe these are sitting on the meter bridge of the mixer, the near field monitors, where they're really judging the accuracy of the mix. And then there are some smaller format monitors where they're judging compatibility with consumer equipment. So knowing that's what makes professional studios successful in delivering music productions, we said, how can we give small studios with a single set of monitors that same kind of tool and benefit? To deliver that kind of experience, we have three easy to access buttons right on the front of the monitor. They have three voicings. There is normal, which is your standard rich frequency response for a studio monitor has great stereo imaging, and it's a great listening experience. Then there's reference mode, which gives you a highly revealing and accurate picture of your mix so you don't miss any details. And then we have small, which is just as critical because it's gonna let you judge how your mix is going to translate to small scale speakers like Bluetooth speakers or phones or tablets and laptops, which of course is where so many people listen to music today. To deliver those voicings, we have sophisticated DSP inside these speakers. It can vary not just the frequency response, but the crossover, the balance of low frequencies and high frequencies that are given to the high frequency driver and the low frequency driver. So it really is like having three different speakers on your desk, each of which you can use to make critical judgments. And the real beauty is how these three voicings work together to complement each other. By listening to your mix, in each one of these listening modes, it will immediately be obvious if something, for instance, doesn't hold up on the small speaker mode because you're relying on too much on a bass element in your mix that needs to be balanced with other elements in the mid-range. And that's what's going to make it so you make better mixes, you make fewer mistakes, and when you do send mixes out, they will translate effectively to all the systems that people will listen on. And of course, it's equally important to make the right sonic judgments when you're doing a sound design session or when you're tracking. If you're recording a bass part, you wanna be sure you're not relying too much on those ultra low frequencies. So you can check that bass part in small mode real quick. And of course, another thing a lot of us used to do back in the day to check our mix was we would quickly record a copy on cassette or burn a track on a CD, run out to the car, put it in the stereo, and take a few trips around the block and check the mix that way. Well, now you can do that kind of compatibility check while you're still sitting in your chair in your studio and without breaking your creative flow. So when designing these, we tried to think about the people who are gonna be using them and what are the challenges that they already face that we could help them solve. Oftentimes they're working in a room that wasn't originally designed for audio. Maybe it isn't the ideal size or may not have the perfect materials or ideal acoustic treatments, but they need to be successful in that environment and we can make that happen. So that's part of why we chose to make near field monitors that you place close to you when you're listening to them. We also would recommend that you want to place these so you're not getting a lot of reflections off of other surfaces when you're listening to them. Ideally, you'd be in a space that like this one is large enough that lets you keep the speakers away from a wall. But we know oftentimes that's not the case. Many studio monitors have a base port on the rear and that base port can project sound and air toward the wall that might be directly behind them and that can really influence the sound of those monitors. That's part of why we chose a front base port, which means that we have less interaction with your listening environment and you can get a more consistent and reliable sound no matter your setup.
Another key feature we have is a very carefully engineered waveguide that surrounds the tweeter or high frequency driver. The waveguide design is key to determining a well-balanced and accurate reproduction of different ranges of frequencies and also the stereo field. In fact, one of the things you'll notice with our monitors when you have them properly set up, so each monitor is equal space from your ears, you will notice as you listen to a stereo mix that elements that are panned to the center appear to come almost from a third phantom speaker right in between the left and right speakers. That phantom center is one of the hallmarks of a monitor that has fantastic stereo spatial reproduction like these speakers have. You'll also find that on the rear of the unit, you can adjust both high and low frequencies, cutting or boosting either one, to tune these to get the ideal frequency response for your particular environment or for your preferences. Thinking again about the variety of sources that creators want to hear through their monitors, we've put on a number of audio connections. There are XLR and quarter inch connections for plus four balanced signals, like you might find in a high-end production studio. There are also minus 10 unbalanced connectors for quarter inch and RCA that are more typical for mid-level and consumer gear and for stereo components. And we have multiple jacks that all operate simultaneously. That's great because maybe you have your audio interface that you are typically listening to primarily, but you also maybe have a turntable that you want to be able to listen to. Maybe you have a keyboard that you want to have plugged in direct so you can practice on it any time without having to go through your main production rig. All of those inputs work simultaneously, so you never have to do any complicated setup or reconnecting to use any one of those audio sources. Speaking of a variety of inputs, one of the other things that these studio monitors make it easy to listen to is Bluetooth audio. We think Bluetooth audio is key for a number of reasons. One thing is that when people are creating music and audio, they're constantly referencing streaming audio. It's a source of inspiration. They're listening to a track and getting great ideas for how to really bring a groove together. What kind of sound is gonna work best in their mix? Maybe there's a favorite recording they're familiar with that has a fantastic snare sound that they wanna make sure that they're able to replicate. They wanna reference that track from a streaming service while simultaneously trying out snare samples that they have in their music library. This makes it incredibly easy to do that. You may be working on a bass part and you know that the bass parts from the Revolver album translate perfectly to headphones, to big speaker systems. Maybe you're going for something like that. Well, it's so easy that you can stream that Bluetooth audio while simultaneously working on your mix and use both of those sources seamlessly right in your creative flow. We also know that in addition to making music and audio, people want to listen to music and audio as well. You've done a few hours of mixing, now it's time to maybe watch a movie. These speakers make it super easy to stream Bluetooth audio with the same kind of great sound that you enjoy during your production process. As you can see here, we have two different models. The difference is the size of the low frequency driver or woofer that's included in each model. There's a five inch and an eight inch available. The five inch is a great choice if you have a smaller space, if you're gonna be operating in that near field configuration. Highly reliable, they give fantastic sound that actually has a very rich low frequency profile available and that you can really rely on for making accurate mixes. For people who have a larger space, maybe they're placing the speakers a little farther from them, they want a more impressive reproduction, that's where the eights are a fantastic choice. And as is always true with eight inch versus five inch speakers, the eight inches can reach lower on low frequencies and also have a little bit different mid frequency reproduction that some people prefer. So we think these monitors are gonna be great for people who are creating music. They maybe are starting out in a smaller studio space, but maybe one day they'll graduate to something larger. We think these monitors are gonna hold up over time and really support them in that journey. So these are designed with careful engineering craftsmanship. They have easy to use, innovative features, but none of that would matter if they didn't sound fantastic. 
Of course, I'm a little biased, but I have spent a lot of time listening to these and equally importantly, having other people listen to them in their studio setups. What they've consistently told me is that they love the rich low frequency response that's available and also the highly accurate stereo imaging that lets you understand each element of your stereo reproduction with great detail and fidelity. Also, the fact that the high and mid frequencies are very evenly distributed and that they're very satisfying in the normal listening mode, but also very revealing and accurate in the reference mode. So if you wanna learn more about the Harbinger Very Studio 500 series studio monitors, head over to guitarcenter.com, contact one of their expert gear advisors, or head on down to your local GC store yourself and check them out. I know you're gonna like them.